When you reach a certain age, functions such as sight, hearing, and memory begin to fade. This video is one of several I have created to help senior citizens use their computers to make up for these shortcomings. My name is Richard Spring, also known as the Senior Wizard. I hope this video will help you make your life a little easier. The name of this video is Search Engine Plus 2. This is a continuation of Search Engine. I'm going to show you more secrets for Google Search Engine you didn't know it existed. In the first Search Engine Plus video, I showed you how to play Pac-Man for free. Now, going back even a little further, is Atari. Atari Breakout. Type it into your Search Engine box. Once you've entered it, go ahead and click on the little magnifying glass to bring up the results. Now, once you've done that, go up and click on Images and click on it, and it will bring up the Atari Breakout game. When the game starts, use your right or left arrow or your mouse to move the paddle back and forth. I and mean, we don't seem to have sound on here, so let me go up and I'm going to click on the sound button up above to get it so we can hear what's going on. And there we go. And now, as, as it goes up and down, you got to move back and forth and catch the little ball before it hits the ground. And if you miss, then you lose a turn. And we'll continue working on this until we see what we can do. Not as good as I once used to be, but still, it's fun. And there I got a score of 440. I don't remember what I used to get on scores on this, but it was probably a lot higher than this. Anyway, that's a little fun diversion you can have for free. Atari Breakout. Now let's get into some more secrets from Google search engine you didn't know existed. Type in the word translate, then a word like rose, and then two a specific languages, like Spanish in this case, and it opens up. And you'll notice it has a translation. But also down at the bottom, you have a microphone. You'll click on that. Rosa. And it tells you in how it sounds in Spanish. You can click on the English. Rose. And it sounds how is it in English. Now there's a drop down arrow. And you'll notice there's a whole lot of different languages that you can change this to. Rosa. And let's go down and pick one or two of these and see. Click on the microphone. Rosa. And it sounds pretty similar. Just pick a real far out language down here. You can see you can really get some logistics. Let's try this. And then you hit the sound. No, no. Oh, that's definitely different. Now, this is very helpful in searching for one or two words, but if you happen to have an email in a foreign language, like this one that keeps showing up in my inbox, what you do is you highlight the text, and then on your keyboard, Control and the letter C to copy it into your internal clipboard. And then you go back to your Google search engine and type in Google Translate. This is different than to just translate. It's Google Translate. It's actually a website. When it opens up, you go over to the Enter Text, click in there, and then you go Control V to paste the text in. And instantly it translates it to English on the right hand side. Now, if you go down to the bottom, You'll find that it has a little microphone, and when you get down there, click on the microphone and listen. Perfect Consciousness Seminar. 
A concentrated and intense event presents a groundbreaking combination among individuals. Yeah, we'll stop it right there. Anyway, it's translating whatever it is on the left to English. Now, up at the top, you know, it says drop down, and you can translate it to lots of different languages. Now, let's go over and click Spanish. Now, the Hebrew on the left is now translated to Spanish, and we can listen to it in Spanish. Seminario de Conciencia Perfecta, un evento concentrado e intenso presenta una combinación. Okay, let's stop that again. This program is very handy if you have relatives in a foreign country that send you emails in their language. Now let's go on to another feature of Google Search Engine. If you have a word that you don't know the meaning of, type in define and then type in the word. Hit your magnifying glass and it's like having a dictionary right in your hand. It gives you the word. You can listen to it. Irony. You can get a definition of what it's all about. This is very handy to use when you run across a word that you're not familiar with and you need a definition on it. So utilize it. All you have to do is type in define and whatever word you're looking for. Now let's look at another feature of the Google search engine that comes in very handy. Type in the word convert and you can convert from 100 inches to centimeters and you instantaneously get 100 inches equals 254 centimeters. By clicking on the selection box, you can choose from a number of different units of measure. Here's millimeters, and then we can change it down to nautical miles. You also can go on the other side and do the expansion box and change the units of measure on that side. Now let's go back to our Google search box and type in another conversion. Let's convert 120. F, which stands for Fahrenheit, to C, which is centigrade, and hit your enter button. 120 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 48.88889 degrees centigrade. You can change that to Kelvin, centigrade, or Fahrenheit. Kelvin is a unit of measure for very, very cold temperatures. You can also go ahead and change the temperature, like the 120, we can highlight that and change it to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and you see it's 93.3 degrees centigrade. Going back to our Google search engine, we can convert to some rather obscure measurements. For example, we can type in 100 meters to Hands. Hands is a measurement that they measure horses in. Very old measurement. And you see 100 meters equals 984 hands. And again, you can change that to any other measurement you want. Now let's go back to our Google search engine for a really neat little trick that you can play on your friends. Type do a barrel roll press the enter button and hang on to your seat. This is a good way to get your family and friends attention. If you're boiling a three minute egg and you don't have a timer on your Google search engine, type in set timer for your required amount of time. In this instance, we'll put in 20 seconds because we don't want to take out three minutes. Then press your enter key to start your timer and you will start the countdown from 20 seconds on down. When it reaches zero, it will give you an alarm. We'll speed this up for a minute. This is great for a quick timer. I hope these tips and tricks for Google search engine has helped you. And the next time you need to find a definition of a word or set a timer for cooking an egg or translate a word or even a whole paragraph, that you'll remember that Google search engine has more features that will make your life easier. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. 
my YouTube channel is free. Enjoy this video? Click on the like button below. Leave a comment below to help me improve. Or tell me what you'd like to see me in a future video. Remember, our generation invented the shake, rattle, and roll. Bye for now.